And right now, I'd like to introduce my guest for the day. Now, my guest was born and raised in Chi-Town. He's a graduate of Cosmopolitan Prep. He's also a quality insurance team captain at Streetwise, and he was also one of the honor uh, vendors that was honored at this year's Streetwise 2012 Gala. I would like to welcome back to Streetwise Street Scene Show my brother, my brother from another mother, Troy Dixon L. Welcome back to Streetwise Street Scene, man. How you feel, man? Glad to be here. You're blessed and highly favored, right? Yes, sir. Definitely because you woke up this morning, man. You know, you've been on the show several times, and there's so much to really talk about with you, so there's really never really enough time. Uh, you know, you've been selling Streetwise for how long now? Some years. Over 10 years. Over 10 years. But see, it never really was like on a consistent basis. But I like to say on your behalf, on your behalf for the last five years, it's definitely has been consistent. consistent and really working it and really following the guidelines of the mission and using Streetwise, you know, as a stepping stone. Um, doors of opportunities. You know, you were honored at the gala. And what was that experience like, being honored at the gala and being on front, front, front and center at the gala this year? It was a different experience because, um, you know, I I look at it like i just been clean and sober three and a half years, mm -hmm. you know, moving forward with my life. And, uh, you know, I do uh, work at Streetwise for us, the quality assurance team. Come in on Mondays, I'll do the desk and do a little work on my computer. Send and you, help us out with the right, orientation yeah, process. Send you reports and stuff like that. So it wasn't really not no big thing, but I mean, it was an honor to be there among the, the guests and the people there. And to get the recognition that I feel that you deserve in front of, you know, a lot of high movers and shakers in the city of Chicago, because we had a real, a real awesome turnout at the gala. And I was very proud to see you guys get the recognition that I, I feel that you de deserve. And that they had a film and it showed, you know, you guys speaking and really giving your testimony and showing you how you guys use Streetwise as a stepping stone. So, yes, I was definitely proud of my brother. Um, opportunities, you know, Streetwise is being a door of opportunity. Um, I heard you mention that in the article, and this week that's on the on the streets right now. Um, how has it been a, a, a door of opportunity for you? See, I work at, in High Park selling my streetwise, so I always have people come along that need some help. They might need some moving a moving job or something. They mm. need some help with that. Like right now, uh, they might need help with their leaves being raked and stuff like that. So they come along. Uh, you you want to make some extra money, and I go with them and do the work. And some people, they, they are so nice, they'll, they'll wait till after I get through selling my streetwise and say, okay, come on, you can do some work. Also, like, I used to drink a lot in, like, uh, the Kimbark Liquor Store in High Park. I used to go get their lunch, mm -hmm. breakfast, go get them a cup of coffee. They had barred me up out the store. But now I, <laughs> they said they barred you yeah, out the store one time in your life. <laughs> but what, what they do now, they pay me every week to come put the signs up, what they got on sale. Over there in Kimbark Plaza. Kimbark Plaza. So they pay me every week for that. I've been doing that consistent for about uh, going on two years now. So you're saying as you know, as you helping yourself and trying to better yourself, that the people in Hyde Park have seen you do that, right. have given you other opportunities to help you make some more money. And how does that make you feel when you, you get the respect as of before, when you were being barred out of places, and now people are respecting you, saying you... You know, you say you're clean and sober, and seeing you really working it like a job and being a. Well, it made me feel good, better about myself. Okay. You know, really. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like uh, my self esteem is, uh, is built back up. Um, <laughs> one thing, I learned how to love Troy today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I don't have to hide from the police today. I don't have to duck and dodge or do nothing. It's like I'm, I'm like an open book. People see me, I'll speak to the, the neighbors, or the, the, I mean, the people in the community. I know them by name, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like uh, look, like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Hey, how you doing? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I just come through in the morning. Like you know? you're living again, yeah. coming back from the dead. I, I mean, this may sound, you know, tripped out to people out there, but I've had people really, you know, asking me about you. It's like, man, is that the same guy that used to be out there or something? I mean, literally, you used to be passed out in Dunkin' Donuts at times, yeah. seven, yeah. seven years ago. Yeah, the ambulance to pick me up. <laughs> and you say you used to drive park your bike in the park cars. These are two stories. But now today, you're able to have some kind of, you know, pride about yourself. And it's about how you feel about you. It's, you know, of course, you want others to look at you in a, in a whole different light. But it's about the self-esteem. And these are some of the things that Streetwise can do for people. And I see what you mean by that door of opportunity. Uh, people helping people. You know, we all have people who've been major influences in our lives. Um... Some of the people who played a major role in you being able to sit here with me today 
you know, with that positive self-esteem. You know, you want to talk about some of those individuals that played a part in your life? Yeah, um, being in Hyde Park, I met a lot of the uh, priests. And this one particular priest I seen this morning, I say, hey, uh, Streetwise Day, read my story on page 13, you know. It was John Dennis. And John Dennis, he's every Thanksgiving, like, for the homeless people in Hyde Park, he has uh, dinner at his house. And he invites homeless people into his home. Okay. You know, to, to have dinner. Which church you know, is so John Dennis? He, uh, John Denny, Dennis is the pastor of uh, uh, Holy Trinity Church in High, in Hyde Park. Okay. But I think he works downtown because they have two churches, one in Hyde Park and one downtown. And he's uh, he's been an inspiration. You know, he helped me at times that uh, I'm talking about I was really out there bad. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? At times, I mean, bought me food, stuff like that. So John Dennis, he's a, he's a, he's a good guy, and I I would really thought about him today is when I seen him. That's what made me think about him. Then you got another pastor in uh, Hyde Park from a uh, uh, the Vineyard Church. His, okay. His name is Pastor Ren, and he's he's actually helped me uh, a lot with clothes and and you know things that a, a person might need out there on the street. And then you got um. Uh, Father John, who's a Catholic priest. Okay, All he right. he helped me when I was at rock bottom, when I was sleeping outside in my in behind St. Thomas in in my sleeping bag, and uh, all these people been influential to me. All I can say is praise Allah. You know what I'm saying? Because I learned, yeah, you know, it don't do you know fathers get caught up on people help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they may be uh, of another faith. But like you say, people help people. You gave me a chance at times when you took my badge and I was suspended from Streetwise. I was fired from Streetwise. Actually. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You gave me a chance. And that chance grew, man, to a certain point where I was able to meet Percy. You gave me a chance. Like, Go to some NA meetings. See if that'll help you or whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I met him. You understand me? And I I went to the meeting just to get my badge back. Then I went out there and got some more pain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I lost my badge that time. Then when, when I really hit rock bottom and I was sleeping outside and I came back in and I, I just quit, I just didn't want no more. That's when I met Percy. And me and Percy are like best friends right now today. And you guys are definitely helping the program at Streetwise, you know, because every Thursday you guys conduct the recovery meetings that we have oh, yeah. um, at our facility at 4554 North Broadway, Suite 350, every Thursday at 1 o'clock. And been keeping it going. I started it, what? eight years ago and you guys were just taking it around with it the last eight years and just made it so solid it's definitely registered and it's in the book yes. so those who you know would like to participate you know every thursday one o'clock 4554 north broadway suite 350 uh people who paid a major influence in our lives you know we talk about fathers being fathers and stepping up to the plate you know you you getting your life together you working on some of the things you know you need to work on and one of the things i'm very proud about you is you know you know you have a, a child out there you know and what is that like of you know because some some guys know they have kids out there but they don't step up to the plate don't do anything about it you in the process right now are trying to find uh your your kid and what's the been the experience has been like it's it's an experience see what what it what it was i lost contact with this guy who know the young lady that i was dealing with during that time and i finally got in contact with him mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying me and I'm, I'm i'm making preparations to uh to find her so that I could find my child. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, um, I thought all, all these years I feel like a deadbeat dad. Well, you know you've been with this woman you and, and you just slept with and you know what transpires. But, you know, it's like, um, I, I, I want to meet, and I, I end up seeing programs on TVs where is that, I seen a program the other night where this girl been abducted by another woman and was raised. But then she's like, this ain't my mother. I want right. to find my mother. She found her mother. You exactly. know what I'm saying? 23 years later. So I still got, it gets to give me hope, man. You and even saying? though that, you know, the the mother like raised her years and took care of her, she still had ill will because she kept it from her. Right. And then the mother did it because she needed somebody to love her. You right. know, and well, she felt she that really, she would take someone else's kid that this kid would love her. Right. And that's not the right way to, to go about it. So now you right. got lives that's been affected, though. Her real mother's life's been affected, her life's been affected, and uh, and the lady who, who stole the child when the child was a baby, her life is affected because she's still locked up. Uh, Morris Science Temple, um, you're Morris American. I mean, and, and that's your fake. And what, what's that been like as far as your strength? That, that's my strength, you know what I'm saying, because I'm with Temple Number 1, and we teach Prophet Noble Jirali, you know. 
I honor the Supreme Grand Sheik and Chairman of the Morris Act of America, Brother E. Braswell Bay. Yeah, I honor, I honor all the members of the Morris Act of America, of the Temple Number no. 1. Now, to be freedom and justice. Yeah, that's, we practice that. You know what I mean? And I have applied that to my life, like the, like the, like the, the principles of, of, of the 12 steps. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I apply this. This is a part of my life. And uh, it's just that when I was rock bottom, I'm talking about I actually came to the, my meeting drunk to, to my religious uh, service like mm -hmm. that at times. And I was always accepted with open arms. And uh, the Grand Sheik brother, uh, Supreme Grand Sheik, and Chairman brother, he brought with base. Like, if you could look up, you could get up. And that kept ringing in my head, even when I was outside. And, you know, and I looked up one day and I was like, man, Troy, I, you just can't, I, you can't, you could do better than this. I kind of won't live like this no more. And you, you know, definitely, man. and you've definitely done that. You've right. done better. And Chicago, this is a perfect example of, of coming back to life. And as long as you're breathing, you can be achieving. But you got to take advantage of the tools that are out there. And streetwise, I would say it's definitely one of the tools that are out there. Our door is open for anybody who would like to better themselves. We don't discriminate. You can definitely get in touch with us at our location at 4554 North Broadway, uh, Monday or Thursday at 10 a.m., 4554 North Broadway. 10 a.m., Mondays or Thursday. Troy, I want to thank you for coming on the show, man. I wanted Chicago to really get a chance to see you again and show Chicago how people have used Streetwise as a stepping stone. And you're definitely one of those men and women. And I want to tell you, I'm definitely with you. I'm always going to be there with you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to you, to, you know, how I gave it to you. You give it and you help others, okay? Because that's what it's about. It's a chain reaction. If you can help somebody out there, Chicago, do it. Do it every chance. Hey, don't forget to go out to go and vote presidential election. Until next Friday, stay focused, keep it real, stay, stay streetwise. Peace out.